Hi, I'm Ashley Swartz, CEO of Furious Minds. I wanted to talk today about a uh, four-star commission report by Videology that was released uh, last month in January. And I love the title of the report, first of all. It's called Optimism Despite Unresolved Issues About Video Advertising. And Forrester did a survey of about 150 North American stakeholders in the media and advertising space. So they spoke to brands, they spoke to agencies, and they actually spoke to media companies. And it was really interesting sort of what they, they found. The highlights at, a very top, highlights at a very top level were that everyone agrees video is a win-win right now, right? So sort of talking about online video as a future, both as an advertising medium, as a growth medium, worthy of investment, everyone is unanimous in that perspe perception. But there were a bit of discrepancies when it came to the, the thought that brands had in regards to the value of the space of online video versus agencies in particular. We found that agencies are absolutely more bullish, which kind of makes sense because allocating dollars is basically the way that they make their money. Um, but we saw that advertisers were much more myopically focused on targeting and measurement. Um, and so that sort of says that performance and efficiency is kind of where the focal point of brands is, which makes sense, right? Because if brands are more focused on performance and efficiency, they're probably forcing that down to their agencies, which is one of the reasons that the agency business model is struggling a little bit today. There's a little bit of skepticism about the second screen and what that meant as far as multi-platform viewing and how important video viewing was as a complement on secondary mobile devices in particular. Um, advertisers sort of question the likelihood of interactivity with ad content. And again, they were really focused on targeting or eliminating waste as more of the key metric and key opportunity for online video growth. The battle between TV and digital sort of as a conversation still continues, right? So depending on the stakeholder, there was belief that digital had the right skill sets uh, to drive online video buying versus television. But the definite sort of consistent opinion was that there will be a merge uh, of these two worlds. They will come together to drive online video acquisition in the future. Uh, hands down, everyone agrees. Audience measurement is the absolute most important thing for online video to continue to take off and maintain its growth curves. Um, it seems like there's becoming uh, that we, we've seen this trend in the last sort of 18 months with online video that we've been trying to indirectly leverage GRPs to allow online video to be bought and compared sort of apples to apples to television, right? But it seems there's less and less confidence in GRPs over time and this idea that we have to migrate to a different sort of multi-platform measurement system. Um, and the GRP standard doesn't actually allow us to do that or accelerate it there. So we'll see where that take us, takes us. Some of the more granular findings were that uh, everyone is kind of bullish on the continued value of television program and specifically as full length television uh, content migrates to other platforms over the top, smart TVs, etc. And that was actually, I want to pause there for a minute because that was really surprising for me. Agencies in particular, as well as advertisers uh, and media companies, but agencies are incredibly bullish on smart TV. And that was quite surprising for me. It was one of the platforms they see where a lot of migration and video consumption is going to be occurring. Uh, in addition to mobile and multi-platform, but the fact that there is an anticipation that smart TV functionality is going to be used more and more over the next couple of years was a great surprise to me. Biggest benefit of online video, agreed by everyone, um, is about reaching audience that is not reached on TV, which I thought is really interesting, right? Because we talk so much about online video in the perspective of, is it cannibalizing television dollars? Is there a shift of TV dollars? And what everyone seems to sort of think of that actually it's filling a gap that TV isn't meeting. So it sort of is pure incremental spend in lieu of a cannibalization. And I thought that was a really great positive sentiment towards online video and its growth trajectory. Overall, agencies care um, a lot more about engagement and interactivity than their clients do. Clients are cared about measurement, clients care about measurement rather, and they definitely seem to care much more about targeting specifically around audiences. But it seems that brands, um, that their agencies rather, are more sort of concerned about engagement, interactivity, et cetera, and that's less important. Um, overall, you know, some of the general conclusions are that TV and online video planning will merge, right? There's optimism, which is great, and that's a wonderful thing to see about online video. Um, advertisers are slightly more cautious, I think, than their agencies are, um, but they definitely don't see eye to eye, which I think is really interesting. There aren't sort of like blatant discrepancies, but I would say it's more about a sentiment of prioritization that is important. And I think given some of the challenges that agencies have right now from a business model, we need to recognize this and sort of move forward. There's still some clinging to the old ways. There's skepticism around the second screen. One of the other large sort of unanimous agreements is that at the end of the day, the skill mappings need to change and the talent base needs to change or to be able to serve the online, uh, the, the sort of new uh, sets of needs and planning requirements as it relates to buying and acquiring online video in the future. The biggest challenges ahead or agreed upon are gonna be measurement, specifically cross-platform and lack of standardization. 
So overall, the industry is in a great place, and I think online video will continue to grow over the next couple of years. But the definition of online video as it relates to television and multi-platform is definitely going to be up for debate, and I'm privileged to be part of the conversation. I welcome comments. Thanks.